Did you like that? Did you, did, did you guys like that? Yeah, so that is a... That's a song by the popular band called Godflesh. That's an industrial metal band that started sometime in the 80s. Now, they're, of course, pertinent to the first story that we have here, which is actually proof that um, we're retarded. We're retarded. As a human race, we are actually, in fact, retarded. It's a Texas couple that was accused of leaving their 11-year-old daughter alone at home while attending a concert in Detroit. Now, this couple was from Texas, and they were attending a concert in Detroit to see the band Godflesh. Now, I don't know if you're aware of this, but Michigan is pretty far away from Texas, and it seems like this couple took an overnight trip. Now, one of the things that they brought up is that they apparently thought the sister was going to take care of it or something like that. The neighbors also attest to the parents being particularly good and they were never seen as bad parents. But I have to say, this is a definite sign that you might not be fit to hold a child if you decided to leave them at home by themselves to go watch a concert in Detroit. And of all places, Detroit, I don't know if you guys are aware of the uh, things going on in Detroit, but it seems like there's a good portion of the city that seems to be progressing in terms of buzzing city life and you have about a hundred mile radius around that. That is houses that are being torn down and being used as abandoned crack shacks, but that's beyond me. Kind of a fun situation that's going on over there. I shouldn't say anything on my end considering I'm from uh, Florida. Now here's a misconception about Florida that some people tend to overshoot. When it comes to anything below, I would say Fort Lauderdale. You're talking about Cuba, Cuba Jr. That's pretty much what you seem to be looking at. We're looking at another region of Cuba. So South Florida wouldn't count as to the rest of Florida. Now, the reason I mentioned this is because there seems to be a very prevalent sort of meme that's going around about the Florida man and how the Florida man keeps uh, doing funny stuff like waking up on top of a moving vehicle after an overnight drug binger. These stories seem to be mostly focused in a northern region of Florida, otherwise known again as southern Georgia. Here in northern Cuba, we just have to deal with Cubans. That's pretty much what we have down here. So all the crimes and all the uh, fun stuff is relegated to Cubans. And nobody talks about them. Nobody talks about them like they do the Florida man, this mysterious Florida man that seems to wake up after consuming some sort of complex combination with heroin. There was a funny story a couple years back about this Florida zombie man that was actually down here where this dude was ingesting bath salts and the police found him ingesting another human and i think that person survived as a matter of fact but the police found a zombie man and they tased the person and they they saw that tasing didn't work so they they shot at the person and the uh, zombied crazed bath salted individual lunged at the cops until they were finally able to subdue the individual with bullets, but I always found that uh, the exception because that actually took place south of Fort Lauderdale. But that's the only one you guys got. That's the only one that people seem to have that's legitimate. Anything else takes place above Fort Lauderdale, otherwise known as Southern Georgia. What else have we got here? We have a lot of news about Trump. Nothing different there. I actually kind of find it amazing that someone like Trump could rise up and become president. This guy was on The Apprentice firing Gary Busey just a couple years ago. And now he's in charge of the greatest country in the world, which lets me know that anybody can do it. What a wonderful country we live in. Now, I had an actual older pig alert that I was going to release instead of this, but I actually just scripted it. I never shot it. I never filmed it. I know I'm an awful person. I was too busy working on the other channel. I know magic videos. This is, see, if I would actually compare the channels, this is the uh, more realistic pig cake. The other one, you're getting magic videos, man. Magic's gay. Magic's for losers. Magic is for people that can't have a social conversation without having some sort of cheat, some sort of hack in order to uh, actually have a normal, regular conversation with another individual. That's what magic is. Most people are capable of looking you in the eyes when holding conversation and not thinking, oh, maybe I could sneak a card in his pocket so then he can later find it and I look good. Ah. Anyways, I was working on uh, several of those videos as opposed to working on pig alerts for this channel. So what I thought is that uh, I just sprinkle in sporadic jokes that I did in that last pig alert. Uh, I'll drop one here. Uh, James Cameron 
has warned a great barrier reef will die unless the world acts on climate change. In a related story, Michael Bay has warned that big titties make his wiener hard. That's a class joke. That's a class act joke if I've ever heard one. I should bring that back, honestly. I feel like ripping off Norm MacDonald definitely has its merits. Some people say, hey, pig cake, why why pig alert? Are you ripping off Keemstar? No, I'm, I'm being funny. I'm being funny. I'm providing entertaining content, not just talking about irrelevant YouTubers. There was honestly a period in time where um, Keemstar only posted about rice gum and Jake Paul every single day. It was god awful. I seriously don't understand the merit of these individuals that get popular. I think PewDiePie said it best when some people just shouldn't become famous. And what YouTube does is that it, it has a platform for people that are essentially unstable to cater to other people who are essentially unstable as well. And it provides them a platform. And somehow they grow. Somehow they grow. It really says a lot about the human race. It really says about us and what we value. Instead of valuing things that matter, like big titties, we instead put that honor on Logan Paul versus KSI. Ah, goddamn. Well, Louis C.K. is back in the news. That's another fun topic. He's uh, one of the greatest comedians. I remember watching a stand-up special. I couldn't breathe. He just kept dropping banger after banger. Now, uh, the guy had a thing for jerking off in front of people. There's a whole controversy, but apparently he's back after doing a set and uh, some people seem to be torn as to him coming back to action so soon. Of course, that's uh, not what the pun intended there, but this actually brings up a bigger problem. How is it that you could get off by having someone just look at you? It's fucking weird. I could barely get hard with somebody else in the room. How am I supposed to actually jerk off and finish? There's some stories about him asking people, hey, do you mind if I jerk off in front of you? And him jerking off to completion? That guy's an animal. I can't even jerk off with somebody in, in the block radius. I, I jog around my house waiting for everyone to leave. And then I do my business. But goddamn, this guy does it while staring at another person who's not even sexually involved, by the way. They're fully closed. And he's just there jerking off and coming all over his stomach. That's some savagery, honestly. Here's another one. Pluto may be a giant comet, according to new research. Scientists have a new theory about the celestial body that it's a huge comet and not just a dwarf planet as previously thought. Oh no, wait, that's Amy Schumer. They're talking about Amy Schumer. Can't get a break, that one. That was another joke that I wrote for the uh, previous Pig Alert. Seemed to be on an Amy Schumer binge. Haven't heard that name in a while. Funny story about her copping jokes. It was a fun article I was reading. Comparing her many jokes to people like Patrice O'Neill. Even some Louis C.K. bits, some Bill Cosby bits. What's up with all these great comedians getting caught for doing weird sexual shit, man? Louis C.K., Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby was a master of stand-up comedy, and now he's just a master of raping women, apparently. God damn it, man. This rape bug is taking everyone that's good. Starbucks has apparently updated the terms of service, and now there are several new additions to the terms of service from within the actual store. You can now hang out at a Starbucks without buying anything, and use Starbucks bathrooms without having to purchase any sort of coffee or tea or anything whatsoever. Still against the rules is masturbating frantically to anime porn. Funny enough, that ties into the Louis C.K. bit. You see how advanced my comedy is? That I didn't even know I was going to finish on a related, related joke there, but I did. That's how next level my comedy is. Snopes is the worst website I've ever come across. They try to play off as some sort of fact checker, some sort of uh, place where you could go and see, oh, is this true? Is this not true? And uh, I came across this article about Gatorade bottles and how they were apparently designed to hold the cap on the bottom of the bottle. First of all, Gatorade is a gutter trash drink. It's glorified sugar water. And whoever says otherwise needs to get bent over a knee and uh, taught some algebra as they used to do. Back in uh, the good old days. Now they got the dumbest flavors. That's another thing. How the fuck am I supposed to take a drink seriously if they have the stupidest names for flavors? They got shit like Cool Blue, Riptide Rush. Are you fucking kidding me? Those are colors. Those are feelings. How am I supposed to know what it tastes like if I haven't previously tried? It's fucking dumb. If I go into a store 
and I'm thirsty and I see this, this fluorescent blue drink and I'm wondering, ah, I wonder what the flavor is on this shit. Maybe it's blueberry. Maybe it could be some other conglomerate of a, of a blue, I don't know, some, some blue fruit that I'm not aware of. Something from Asia. Lord knows they have some weird fucking shit over there. And instead I see the name and the name says cool blue. What the fuck am I supposed to do with that information? What am I supposed to do with that? I'm supposed to just take the gamble and buy it. God fucking damn it. So the article, just to go back to it, was on Snopes. And it mentions this idea of if Gatorade bottles were originally designed to store the cap underneath the bottle. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but the reason the cap is uh, as a cap is because it's designed to go on top of the bottle to hold the liquid in. There's no reason why it would need to be even held on the bottom temporarily. There's no, you can't hold the cap in the other hand while you drink the bottle. You need to have a place to hold it. So you, your right hand is free to do whatever it is that you want. See, this ties back to Louis C.K. Maybe the bottle was designed to hold the cap underneath so that he could keep his right hand free for masturbating for those of you guys that are on the slow side. But it's shit like this that's making us stupider as a country. And yes, I see the irony in that last sentence. Here's another one. This weekend, a set of two Jubari melons fetched a record-breaking 3.2 million yen. That's $29,000 at an auction in Hokkaido, Japan. This still does not come close to the most expensive set of melons ever purchased. And that was uh, supposed to be a picture of a woman with enormous breasts. That's what I was going to That's what I was going to put there. Yeah, I know that one wasn't as good. You know, I like to squeeze in some jokes that aren't as good. So it makes me human. Too many times people seem to be looking at my stuff to uh look for, you know, the humor in it. I have to drop in some stuff that's not ordinarily funny just to make myself human again. If not, I'd just be some sort of god of comedy. Here's another one. An article by Space.com recently came out postulating the possibility of time travel. Or as Snoop Dogg calls it, getting high as fuck. That's a good one. That's definitely a good one. That's not one of the ones that I would consider to be a filler joke. That's one that I would consider to be a uh, a definite banger. 100% banger as the ladies would call it. Snoop Dogg is an interesting figure. He's the one dude that smokes the most pot, but he's the skinniest motherfucker I've ever seen. I mean, the stereotype is that pot gives you the munchies, and it seems like he's just circumvented that necessity and just doesn't eat. It seems like he just smokes pot and spits bars. Is it racist to say that he looks like a, like a black poodle? I don't think that's racist. I think that's a fact. I think that's an observable fact. Here's another one. The next big superfood might be cockroach milk. New research suggests that it boasts four times as much protein as cow's milk, but also contains essential amino acids that promote cell growth. Also lipids that keep our bodies healthy and sugars that fuel energy. So this might be the next big trend in diet, according to the University of fucking retards. Yeah, I, I stole that from Norm MacDonald. That, that joke where uh, you, you start with a build and then you end it with to the blank of fucking morons or fucking retards. That's Norm MacDonald. I, I blatantly stole it there, but I thought I did, I did it justice there. You know, that's kind of an interesting thing. Now, that's an article that I actually read a couple weeks ago about cockroach milk. We, we have the uh, fair share of cockroaches here. And you would think that cleaning and maintaining uh, normal hygiene around the house would avoid these vile fucking creatures. But now you have a bunch of uh, people that are considering milking them and using their liquids for consumption. You know, I really can't see us lasting more than 100 years at this point, honestly. And not just global warming because of this shit. We're going to get to the point where we're just, you know, sifting through dog feces and uh, harvesting it for nutrients. Ah, boy, did you hear about this? Did you hear about this? The Atkins diet, the Atkins diet may raise the risk of fatal heart disease, according to a new study. The Atkins diet is best known of a range of popular diets. I, don't, I can't believe I wrote this. I fucking wrote this. And I wrote it like a, like a small tree monkey sucking on a nipple. Let's, uh, let's try that again here. The Atkins diet, did you hear about this? The Atkins diet may raise the risk of fatal heart disease, according to a new study. 
the Atkins diet is best known of a range of popular commercial diets for its abundance of the consumption of high fats and high protein foods. Who would have thought that eating like shit gets you fat? It's definitely a filler joke. That's a filler joke if I've ever heard one. Honestly, I look back and I wonder what was I thinking? What was my afraid of mind when uh, I was writing things like this? But, you know, it might have been just what I ate that day. It might have been uh, my diet. It might have been just me trying to squeeze out just whatever, whatever joke. You know, people back in the day, comedians used to get the papers and look through and try to find jokes from the headlines. Not today. Not today. That's not the uh, case anymore. See, here you have to look at and sift through a bunch of news from different outlets online and you kind of have to squeeze and find sift through the cockroach milk and find that nugget but sometimes you just got to fill her up with some bs and that was some bs here's a here's what seems to be a banger there's the last joke that i wrote for the uh the pig alert in her final race nascar driver danica patrick hit a wall in lap 68 and crashed her race car she claims she lost control of the car. However, I think we know the real reason why she crashed. See, the implication there is that she's a woman. She's a female driver. And therefore, she's incapable of driving to the level of her male cohorts. So therefore, it was inevitable that she crashed because she's a female. That was a joke. I think that was a good one to end on. And I think that's a good one to end this. There's a little bit of a new segment, new format that I'm going to have for these. Uh, I'm going to start talking about, you know, things that I think are interesting, things that are relevant in the world, maybe things that you might find interesting. So make sure to subscribe if you guys haven't already. And uh, always remember, keep the yellow snow outside of your mouth. See you again when I 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 see you Shine, <laughs> <laughs>